Hi, I'm Sahim Ali. I'm the director of The Rolling Stone at Lincoln Center Theatre. So the play centers on a publication called The Rolling Stone that was published in 2010 in Uganda that published the names, addresses, and photographs of people who were suspected of being gay. And because of how homophobic the environment was, people committed mob justice and attacked some people. Uh, David Kato was an activist who was killed as a result of being outed in the paper in a really violent way. And so um, going in 2019 to Uganda, I just wanted to understand what the context was between the current moment and that moment, which is obviously really fraught and dangerous. When I found out that I'd be working on this play, it felt important for me to take a trip there myself. I felt like even though being Kenyan gave me a little bit of peripheral access to that, it wouldn't be truthful access unless I had personally been there myself. Kampala is a large city. It's the capital of Uganda. Um, it is, I think, the second largest city in the East African region. When I close my eyes and I'm thinking about Kampala, the color of the soil is something that is really resonant. There are these deep reds, the volcanic soil there. It is something that's very particular to that region. Homes that some of the characters might live in was important to me, so I made sure that I took photos as we were passing through certain communities. It was important to me to be um, respectful, but also capture some visuals that would inspire the actors to get just a, just a little bit of a closer sense that I could bring into the room of what this environment that they're existing in actually looks like. I wanted to capture a sense of everyday people moving to work, like living their lives, going to school, going to work, going to their church. Any way that I could bring the experience of the continent into the room, I felt like I would do. And so these photos and these videos of people walking through the streets were really crucial in just giving a snapshot. The way people get around is on something called a Boda Boda. And a Boda Boda is basically a motorbike. Uh, it's a motor taxi. So you flag them down as you would flag down a cab like here in New York and then you, they give you a helmet and you sit on the back of the stranger and you ride through the city and it is terrifying because you have no idea if you're gonna make it alive and they are like zipping through cars and so I wanted the experience of that. While I was there, we took Boda Bodas basically everywhere. The play features a family grappling with a sense of their religious identity and so I wanted to go to a church. I wanted to go to a church that was in Kampala. In the script, there's a moment where the congregation celebrates a moment by singing a hymn. And so before that, I'd always imagined the chorus is gonna sing this together as a company. But when I went to this church in Kampala and I experienced this pastor singing himself and leading the congregation in song, I thought, well, we just have to steal that. We just have to put that in the production somehow. It was this really beautiful moment of being exposed to the thing that we had to create in the room here, but also being inspired then to take the story in a different direction because of this experience. One of the things that I really loved about the place that we were staying was it was high up on a, on a mountain and you could see Lake Victoria from it. The first time that I saw it, it was enormous. It was huge. You couldn't see where it ended. And then I just realized like this thing that I'd been reading about in textbooks growing up as a child in Kenya, I'd never actually seen with my own two eyes. So I took this play and this moment in the play happening on a lake and me seeing this lake for the first time that was like, you know, the play brought me there and the play brought me to the lake in this really beautiful way.